Next up, we have an asshole. His name is Caleb Martinez, and uh, he'll be singing. Where are you, Caleb? Come on up, Caleb. I'm right here. Okay. Come on up, Caleb. Yeah. Hey, robot, you want to start something? Yeah. Huh? I got Errol and uh, Gangstalicious. This is one of my favorite stories. It's a good story. One of the greatest stories ever told. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let me unfold it. The first time I ever... Da, da, da. The first time I ever met Phil's dad, I knew that he was the dad for me. <laughs> Did you know that he is the vice president? That means he's the second in command at the company he works. Kind of like Dan Quayle for the USA. He gets to sit around all day and tell other people who aren't the vice president what to do. Then they do it. He gets to tell them that they did it wrong. I asked Phil's dad if he would be my new dad, and he laughed. <laughs> Probably because he has a really good sense of humor. Huh? I love my new dad. Phil told me yesterday that his dad's office has a big giant room with a computer in it that they have to keep really cold or else the computer will melt and the building will catch on fire. I hope that they keep it really cold all the time because I don't want the building to catch on fire while Phil's dad is inside of it. He might have to jump out the window and he might break his leg if he did that because it's a long way down and his office is on the 43rd floor. It's practically the 44th floor if you count the basement. Phil's dad let me come to work with them one day, but he wouldn't let me touch anything. Probably because everything there is important. What are you guys doing back there? Okay. Probably because everything there is important. They have all these tubes with squiggly lines all over it. The tubes are important. So I couldn't touch them. My dad my old one that is, <laughs> has a really boring job and he isn't in charge of anybody. All he does is play the French horn in the symphony. He has to throw his spit on the ground when nobody's looking. But guess what, Dad? I'm looking. <laughs> and one time, he threw it on somebody's shoe. We went out to a restaurant with Phil and Phil's parents once, and his dad didn't even have to pay. He had a card made out of plastic, and they took it away and gave it back to him. My dad has to pay with money, dollar sign, dollar sign, but Phil's dad doesn't even have to give them any money! Once Phil told me that his dad could rip a phone book in half. And the residential pages, not the business pages. The residential pages are the thickest. I never saw Phil's dad rip it in half. But I believe Phil, because his dad is really strong. I asked my old dad, if he could rip the phone book in half, but he didn't. Mainly because he never had a phone book because he never paid the phone bill. The phones in my old house don't make any noise and my dad say they were for the decoration, like the Christmas tree from last year. Yeah, we don't have one this year because we're poor. Earlier this morning, when I went to Phil's house so they could go to work with Phil's dad again, Phil told me that they had already left. I knew Phil was lying. Because I hid in the bushes. And I saw Phil's dad get in his car. His car is a Jaguar. And it bounces on other cars when you are asleep. <laughs> 
after Phil's dad left, I went back inside and I sat on Phil's head because he lied. And that's what you get for lying. Fuck you, robot. <laughs>